lip service, even though RFA is going to pay lip service to this, and say you were right behind you, but nothing's going to be done about it. That's quite key because a lot of clubs don't have a black director, don't have a black senior figure to give them the kind of insight you're able to give QPR. And I would suggest that that's a big part of the problem, not just with English football, but with European football. Yeah, we've got a shot of that. And, and, and the people <sighs> um, trying to resolve the issues, uh, probably middle class, well-educated, Caucasian people who've never been racially abused. So when you're handing out a punishment for something you have no idea about, the punishments become very, very lenient, as we keep seeing time and time and time again. We take the case of the boys who were racially abused recently um, in Bulgaria. In Bulgaria. For me, UEFA, FIFA, and all the people involved in this might as well have stood in the stands with those people that were making Nazi songs and the monkey chants. Might as well stood in the stands with them for the punishment that's handed out to these people. The people in power can um, solve this problem if they want to, but they don't really want to solve it because it doesn't affect them. I've heard loads of different discussions about this subject and people talking about um, should they ban them from competition? Um, and people will say, and a lot of people have come and on. Bulgaria. Yeah, Bulgaria, should they ban <sighs> them from the competition? And a lot of people came on and said, well, no, that would be unfair, be the minority, because um, it's, it's a minority, not the majority of supporters. And I said, well, that's, that's fair enough. But many, many years ago, England were, were kicked out of Europe, European football because uh, hooliganism around Europe. I see. Yeah, after the Heisel disaster, we were kicked out of Europe for five years. Now, I know for a fact it weren't a majority of England supporters that were going and causing problems. It was a minority for what they did. The minority got the majority punished. So sometimes you have to punish <sighs> the majority because of the minority to, 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 to make any change. Stay with us. CNN World Sport returns in just a moment. <sighs> Grow your media business at 2454 Abu Dhabi, your gateway to the Middle East and North Africa. Enjoy 0% corporate tax, 30% cashback rebate on productions, a full suite of media services, and state of the art facilities. With zero license and registration <gasps> fees for your first two years, our business development team will guide you through our simple setup process to get your business up and running. So get in on the action. Join us today. If you don't want to gain weight, don't come to Hungary. We are seeking the best way of the Hungarian kitchen. So what I feel well is cooking is, is in my, my little world. It's where you can create, where we have freedom, and nobody tells you what to do. We collect uh, lots of ingredients in the nature. So we make this uh, simple dish uh, for like a fine dining dish. In fine dining, you have to do something different, something special, something unique. You put your soul on the plate. Cooking is my life, so <laughs> it's not a passion for me, it's, a, it's an obsession. To create a very hedonistic but still very modern meal from from sometimes humble, sometimes not so humble, but very Hungarian ingredients. Vin Group, Vietnam's leading conglomerate, enters a new age. Vin Pro, where endless joy awaits at holiday wonderlands. Vin Fast, where a state-of-the-art factory will provide mobility for a nation. Vin Smart where innovations for daily living are smart and connected. Where the aspirations of Vietnam are realized for a better life for all. Vin Group, open to the world. Lazio would score just before the break. 
and catch fire in the second half. They would go on to score two more here. Three different goal scorers on the day for Lazio as they stun Juventus. 3-1 the final score. So atop the Serie A standings right now, Inter remain on top. Two points clear of Juventus, as you can see. Lazio now five points back from the leaders. Right, more now on the continuing build-up to FIFA's Club World Cup event taking place in Qatar later this month, a country that's also hosting the 2022 World Cup as well. On Saturday, we learned that the Gulf States Education City Stadium that was due to host three matches during the 10-day mid-December tournament now won't. The venue is built but hasn't yet held any test events. The games in question will now be played at the Khalifa International Ground instead. And that does it for this edition of World Sport. Many thanks for watching. As always, stay with CNN. The latest news headlines are on there. travels with you. Check in, log on, and get connected with all of the latest developments at your fingertips. CNN Partner Hotels, connected to your world. It's that time of year when the stars come out to honor some of humanity's best. I'm here to honor your heroes. Now more than ever, the world needs a hero. Please join me in honoring CNN Hero. CNN Hero. CNN Hero. CNN Hero. CNN Hero of the Year. Thank you so much, CNN. Join Anderson Cooper and Kelly Ripa live as they name the 2019 CNN Hero of the Year. CNN Heroes, an all-star tribute, Monday on CNN. gunman who killed three people Friday at a U.S. naval base in Florida watched videos of mass shootings the night before the attack. An intelligence group says he had extreme anti-American views. The U.S. investigators are still trying to determine if the shooting was in fact an act of terrorism. U.S. President Donald Trump thanked Iran in a tweet following a prisoner swap. On Saturday, Iran released the U.S. graduates, this U.S. graduate student, who was held for more than three years. In return, the U.S. freed an Iranian stem cell scientist who was arrested last year. CNN's Robin Kerno spoke earlier with Washington Post journalist Jason Ruzayan, who spent 18 months in an Iranian prison. We haven't seen a, a swap like this with Iran since I was released. We're coming up on four years uh, next month since that happened. So it's happened. There is some precedent for it. It's not common. This is the first release of uh, Americans in Iran during the Trump administration. So that's a very good sign. Um, I hope that this is something that they can build off of and, and win the release of other Americans who are unjustly being held and have been held for many years. 
uh, but I think it's way too early to, to know if this is just a one-shot deal or, or if there could be some more momentum on, on, other, on other trades. Yeah, and, and, and also again, and specifically on this trade, do we know who this Iranian scientist was? Yes, he was, a, I think, a, a, a biological um, medical um, biologist uh, doing uh, uh, research here in the United States, going back and forth to Iran. Uh, I, I believe that he was picked up on some sanctions related charges. Hard to know uh, the merits of that case because it hasn't really been made public. Uh, but uh, I understand that he was to be released very soon in part of a plea agreement. So the U.S. is saying that we have given very much up uh, in, in relation to uh, freeing Mr. Wong. <sighs> North Korea says denuclearization is no longer on the table in any future talks with the United States. Pyongyang said Saturday the 